Good morning, you guys. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. He's getting some money out. Hope you're having a fantastic day, guys. It's a Saturday, which means we're at the boot sale. And if you watched yesterday's vlog, you know that I'm doing this today and I feel like a tool, if I'm honest with you. So I bought a GoPro chest harness. I said yesterday, I showed it you guys. Um, I feel like an idiot. Man, I'm so not ready for this. I feel like everybody's going to be like, what's that for? What are you filming for? <laughs> maybe I don't care, maybe I do, but I do care. I shouldn't care. Doesn't matter when anyone else thinks, but I do care. <laughs> also, I've just found out, tomorrow as well, uh, Sunday, I would usually have either baseball training or a baseball game. But I'm not going because I pulled my hamstring at uh, paintball, you probably heard me say. Well, I pulled it at baseball last week. Or the week before, even. And then really hurt it at paintball. And then I'm not risking it, so I'm not going tomorrow. But tomorrow, there are three car boot sales on. And one of them doesn't start till 11, we've just found out. Dad showed it us. So tomorrow, we're going to get up really early and do the two boot sales. And then just, like, relax for a bit or something. Well, yeah, well, yeah, it'll probably be just about in time. It usually is. To go to at 11 o'clock to this third one. So, let's get Matthew's coffee and then let's go around the booty bubs. Let's start, let's get to a new booty Yeah, me too. It's in, um... Don't forget also go. Yep, 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 yep. Well, I'm getting a coffee first. Oh, yeah. It's in Kiddy. Which side of the road do I drive on? Left. Do I? I don't know, I just forgot, like, there's what? no other cars on the road and I was just like, hold on. I was reversing onto the road and I just couldn't figure out which side of the road I needed to be on. Um, I don't think you should leave that here. <laughs> <laughs> it's early. This is now pretty just need for a stretch. Ready to roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, how embarrassing is this going to be? No, I was going to say, you, you act the act. Act the act. You're just the confident and they're going to look at your body. Everybody's going to be looking at my body. Okay, let's do it. Panic, so. Yeah. Oh, that's so I did check him out. <laughs> <laughs> we bought some the other week from a car boot, so I got home and there was no games in there. You know, well, I, I thought I'm checking them. all of them now. Before. <laughs> I checked them, I got two games out and now bowls to put them in, those inside the boxes. So yeah. I'm probably boxes have been swinging. Uh, yeah. yeah trying to get the oh, lovely, thank you. Would you do six for two quid? Six for two, Piper. Go on, Mike. Yeah. Go on, Mike. Go on, Mike. Go on, Mike. And if you check these, yeah, check that's lovely. Oh, sorry. You're skanking them. <laughs> <laughs> you six, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, sure. That's what the dinosaurs are. <laughs> there you go. Cheers. Cheers. I must have recorded it. Original design. Mm. Books life in it. How much are the books? Uh, twenty p. The whole set is there. So, is that the whole set? Then Harry Potter? Yeah. Yeah, the whole set's there, yeah? I'm not sure if that's why you go. I think that's the one. 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 Quick maths. <laughs> really sorry, can you break a 20? Let me see if I got. Oh, I might have it. 
I can charge you 20 pounds if that makes it easier. That's lovely, thank you. Well, I look some of these are uh, like different covers. I haven't seen those ones, are really cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you look for Iron Man 2 for ages at Bootha. Nobody yeah. seems to have it. <laughs> I've um, I've a bit of salmon, but we don't use them. We stream everything. Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. <laughs> How much are they? Uh, That's expensive one as well. Yeah. I don't use it. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Right, come on now. Yeah. You want them? Yeah. There's only filming, there's only pictures in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everyone says, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, right. Cuba in Cuba. Yeah. They're expensive as well. How much are these? Uh, I was asking to 10 for all of them, but you know, £8. Do you want them? I'd only pick them up for cheap, just for a, <laughs> a blast from the past. I didn't, they look quite new as well, I didn't even know they still did them. <laughs> How much is Jesse and Woody? Um, it's a Woody for eight, just for three. these bits? Um, pounds each for those. They've all got the games in them. It's just a bag with lots of um, pieces yeah. in. How much is that? Um, the whole lot for six pounds. How much would you do just those bits for? Um, four for those. Do three? Go on then. Yeah. Just go. A few hours later, guys. How you doing? How was those clips from the GoPro? Hope it was good. I really enjoyed wearing the GoPro on my chest today. <laughs> you enjoyed it. Like, I did actually. Yeah. At first, I was honest. I was like, this is so cringy. Everyone's going to be looking. Loads. I thought that nearly everyone we saw would be like, oh, where are you wearing that? Where are you going in? Nobody did. And we had full blown conversations with a couple of sellers. I know, but I. Which well, doesn't usually usual. happen. Yeah, maybe the fact we're wearing it, they thought, oh, these are some people. Uh, you know what I mean? Whenever I see someone wearing one, I think, oh, they must be like internet famous. When they're not necessarily, they're just people with YouTube channels. <laughs> but I hope, the, I hope it was good, the quality of the footage. I think it will be. Uh, yeah, a few hours later, we've, I obviously went to work. Uh, we are going to haul okay, everything so. and show it you when we get back. Obviously, because I've got a job, don't you know? We're gonna haul it all because we got some pretty good stuff. I'm trying to use my arm to block this light behind me because you can't see anything as that. The gun show, pow pow. There we go. This is casual. This is normal. I've spent the best part of this afternoon after work, finished by about half two. And then I've just been editing and uploading because obviously I told you yesterday some of the vlogs were just being a pain in the arse and not going on. And then I've started editing the lost vlogs, which is going up soon. And it's the cringiest thing I've ever done in my life, editing this bloody footage from two years ago. Mm. I'm massively fat. I'm about 19 and a half stone in this vlog. Uh, I'm about 15 stone 10 at the minute. So it's like four stone heavier. I was only a stone heavier. Yeah. And they said I looked a mess, so. I know I said we looked a mess, mainly meaning me. But we both look, obviously, <laughs> we both look. Different. No, we both look a mess, like, <gasps> between us. We're both wearing, like. Yeah. And listen, I'm We're being honest. Box. Crap clothes. Like I'm, oh, I'm wearing yeah. rags because I'm so fat that I'm having to get anything to drape over me. You're wearing like you look. You listen. Yeah, you're looking nice and that. But you're not wearing like. No, like, you're very stylish these days, aren't you? You know what I mean. You're styling your hip, right? Yeah. 
That's all right, Leah. But I've got to, I've got to, I've got to compliment you because I've just told you you look a mess, which oh. you do in the in the lost world. Oh my god, I don't ask. We both like this do. Guy. We he look, never compliments this, this We look a little bit more childish, don't we? Because it was like two years ago. Mm. And also, it's really hard to watch because I can remember the mindset I was in back then. I was all, I was a lot more anxious back then, and like life was a lot harder because we were just starting Magic Valley thing. We had no chance of moving out anytime soon at all. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we couldn't no, even no, plan no. a future where we would move out. And then now we're moving out in like two weeks or something. So it's it's weird to watch. And some of the things I'm saying, I was like, oh, no way. Like we're talking about that. I'm talking about the fact that we can't move out. And I'm like, well, now we can. Aww. And I was talking about, this bit was funny for me, talking about some, some of the reselling residue that we've got in the room because at that point we weren't reselling anymore. We'd stopped because we stopped for a year or two. We stopped back then. Yeah, I thought we were still reselling Whoa. then. I'd said we'd stop because I was pointing out some of the shit that Stacey left lying around the room, VHS players, Disney teddies, that are still there today. I decided to keep them, guys. Yeah, you should do this with everything. We've got so much crap. But Stacey's little like, oh, we're list dead, Wendy. But those VHS players, when you watch this last vlog, and I th yes, those teddies as well, because they're in the bed. They're all still in the bedroom. That'll be going up in a few days. It's going to be about a 40 minute long, maybe 50 minute long video, so it's going to be really good. Might even be longer. It's also going to include Pablo's first birthday, Aww. which is really cool with all these uh, siblings and his mom and stuff. Forgot we had that footage. That'll be nice. I haven't edited that, but yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. Any road, we're in Tesco car park about to go in and get cheese because it's cheese night and maybe some tea. Don't know what we're going to have. Oh, no. Let's go I look. had my final fitting, final Sorry. dress fitting. I forgot today. that I hadn't said what you did. I don't know, I didn't even ask now. I don't, don't care, that's probably why. Yeah, it was good. I mean, there's a couple of things that need altering, just the sleeves and stuff, and an added ribbon, but that's it. Perfect, like, length. You can just see my little tootsie shoes. Do, do, do. Um, you guys, these guys have seen my suit now quite a few times, uh, all through the process. They haven't seen yours all. I know. Well, neither have I. That's why you haven't. It's because I haven't, because it's going to be a surprise, oh, yeah. and I edit the vlog, so obviously... You, this is the only reason. If I edited the vlog, I probably would have shown them. Yeah, slipped it in. It, it might be in some of the background. You never know. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's fine. How? Don't go through back through. What do you mean? Oh, have you done shots in... Well, have the lights just turned on in here? No, I don't know. We're in a car park. What the hell? What's going on? <laughs> uh... Yeah, in some of the shots from like ages ago when yeah, you were trying. Yeah, they've been in the background mm. by There's only it's the first of June. We get married this month. We're getting married this month. Moving out this month. Potentially going on honeymoon this month. It'd be like this, we might be going on the thirtieth or thereafter because the wedding, second wedding's on the 29th of June. That's mad. This is like probably the biggest month of our lives for things that are happening. Oh no! Stop! Stop! Why is that happening in one month? That's I too don't much. know. It is a bit much. Anyway, guys, look at this. How amazing is this jacket? Jeremy will do a close-up when we get out of the car. We like but, Yeah. Car boom, it's obviously. Nice Two pounds. Boom. It's from Dash Clothing. I'd never heard of it, but your mum liked that brand. And oh, she yeah. went all the way to Cheltenham to get some stuff really? from there. Really? Is that what she said? Yeah. Crazy. I bet this was hundreds, no. Do you think? Yeah, I reckon. Don't you? Do you think it's hand-stitched? No. It's amazing, though, it? Is, it's crazy. Listen, let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. Let's get in the lighting. Get in the shop with the good lighting. What do you want? You want it on just on the vlog or do you want some photos? Oh, you want some music? Music? Like a little cutesy little shop with music? Okay, okay. You recorded it? Yeah. Okay, perfect. We set. Guys, we went to Tesco, got tea, cooked tea, and had tea. All in that quick space of time. Oh. <laughs> so we just oh. blasted that, and we're gonna quickly do a haul. Come on, I'm you're cold. You're joking. I'm boiling. Honestly, I was walking around. It was lovely and warm. I'm sweltering, man. Like properly, like stuffy. I want to go and have a cold shower in a bit. I've still got a few more edits to do this evening, and it's now I'm definitely gonna have a shower. Ever seen, it is beautiful, to be honest. Do you like it? It's really nice. Yeah. Oh, good. Jack's talking the pubs out the window. So, let's haul this shizzle. Oh, you know what I can't wait for? Moving out. And then we won't have to do this on a bed. Yeah. And we take the proper tripod, the big stand-up thing. Yeah. And we can have it just in the living room. Yeah. A huge haul. You can see everything. Okay. Whatever. Let's start with this bag. I think they've only got two bags today. At least. I mean, they're two massive bags. And it's not bad for a Saturday car boot. You want to go first? Yeah. Right. I've got in the shop. So I picked up this little guy, little peak at and he's from 1998. So I thought, mm, 
and I picked this little guy up from Bugs Life. He hasn't got a date and I don't think the earlier Disney uh, plushies had dates on them. Which yeah. makes me think it's an old one again. But Bugs Life, I feel like it was one of those films that wasn't really big when it came out. But now... It's got a cool following of 90s kids, I would yeah, imagine. exactly. So I was like, how much? She was like, 20p. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Joey's just jumped yeah. into the window. What's happening, bud? I don't know if she went 20p each or 20p for both of them. Did you just give her 20p? No, I gave her 20p each. Oh, I was going to say. I was like, for 20p each. She I... really tried to hang in someone with the car boot. I didn't mean to. We bought a load of DVDs. We'll get to them in a sec. But that were... Four like for four for one fifty, which is a really weird, weird amount. Really weird. It's usually like three for a quid. Uh, four for one fifty, and then we had uh, how many six. did we have? Six. And I said, would you do six for two quid? And he was like, yeah, no worries. And this guy gave him one fifty. Cause uh, and she had to chase us down, and was like, no, it was two quid. Excuse me. And I was like, excuse I'm me, excuse sorry. me, no, it's another fifty. And I was like, Stacey, let me down. Honestly, I did not hear. I don't, I don't try to scam people out of fifty p, Jim. You need, that's one of the things you need to do. If you're doing a deal and I'm paying, you need to clarify with me because normally I don't hear. You stood next to like, okay, got listen. a steering wheel and I thought they said 550 and I was like, what are we doing? You didn't try and pay them 550 though. No, no, but I was trying to be like, 150? Look, I told you her legs weren't soft. No, I know. Ah, uh, you see. Okay, so we've got Jesse. This costs three quid. Why are you doing beans? Joey. He's going to jump. Joey, no. He's going to ruin the shot. Joey, no. Joey, no. Bugger. He's going back out the don't, window. Don't you dare, you're going to break my glass. Jojo. Okay, Jesse was three quid. Jojo. Oh, he's going for that plant. Okay, Jesse, three quid. Because for, uh, as if you've been watching this for a little while, you know that at the wedding we're having like a Disney theme going on. Um, and Jesse was one of the ones we needed. She's smaller than like your average Woody. Joey's going to kill himself or something. Yep, but for three quid, it's not too bad. But she's not like soft, you know, like she's usually. Woody and Jessie are soft limbed and stuff. She's not. She's more like an action man, but like very thin. But that wasn't too bad. That's just for that, and then it might sell for more. We haven't searched that or anything. Yeah, I mean, she's really hard to find. I really wanted a Jessie, so I didn't mind paying yeah. three quid. But... They, they had a full size Woody as well, and they wanted like eight quid for him, and we didn't need one. That would have just been to resell, and it's just not worth it. There's no money in that. So that was that. Moving swiftly. Where to begin? There's too much. You do these things. Okay, so I found these. And we also needed a little set of these for the wedding. I mean, it doesn't come with poo, so that's disappointing. I should hope, yeah. But, uh, yeah, you don't want to know how much or something. How much did you spend on them? I wanted a pound each, and I was like, hmm, would you take two? So two pound. It's not too bad. They're nice ones, aren't they? They're cute, in there. Yeah, I, love I bet they're guys. expensive. Brand new. Uh, yeah. Let's move on to... I paid... So I don't remember how much I paid for this. I think I paid three pound for this little bundle. It was a weird bundle. Basically, someone had a Nintendo DS case a Nintendo DS game, a couple of Game Boy Advance games, uh, and I, I like Game Boys, so I wanted those. The case wasn't anything sharp, I just wanted like six quid with the case. So I just put, picked these things up from her for three quid. If you've been watching the, the other hauls, you saw that I bought a Nintendo DS the other week without a charger. Well, she had a charger, and I was like, you know what? I'm picking it up because how often do I see a charger? I think this is for a DS, I don't know, you know. It is Nintendo, yeah. Must be a DS show. So that was included. That was a good buy. Mosher Monsters DS. That was a crap buy. There was nothing in that. But it was there and part of a bundle. And these two. I haven't searched either of these. But I have a feeling. There's probably not much in them. But box Game Boy Advance games in decent condition. Like I can't say no. For three quid with the charger. I needed the charger anyway. That was going to cost me a quid from that. Joey's just... Is he making a bed on that bag? No. He tried to get down here. You stupid Joe. Oh, yeah. his nose. Over the hedge, and then Star Wars Apprentice of the Force. He's going to break something. I know, right? I can't take my eyes off him on the hedge. This isn't going to be worth anything over the hedge, but that one might be. I haven't searched these, so Are I don't know. No, I thought that one was worth it. Over the hedge? I've yeah. seen it all over the place. Uh, I haven't seen that Star Wars one. So... Joey. I don't know. Jojo. You into Beanie Boy, don't do it. <laughs> oh, he's oh, a sneaky smooth. bugger. Okay, so that was what I got off then. <laughs> but yeah, Moshi Monsters was the... Always picking up. Why did you? What? When did I pick up Tetris? Was that today? Yeah, must have, well, it must have been. If it's in there, it, I can't see it. Oh, did you pick it up? I did. I bought it. It might have been. No, we didn't go anywhere yesterday. It must have been today. Okay, yeah, sneak peek. There's a Tetris somewhere. <laughs> okay, do you want to do these? 
Oh, okay. Uh, we got what? Well, I don't even know what we've had for these now. Pound each. I think. I don't think we'd have had more than that. Yeah, we got uh, these cameras. Not sure about this one, but if I see a brand that I don't know and it's pound, I'm like, I'm gonna get it just in case. This is a Hanny Hanny Mix. Uh, let's see if it's got any film in it. It's not got any film. I'll get one of all like the batteries and stuff. Oh, no batteries in. Good sign. Means there'll be no leakage. This is the one we originally saw. Well, you saw Polaroid. Yeah, I just saw Polaroid and I thought, you know what? And I think it has a zoom, which I think is something to look out for. We don't usually do like old cameras, but basically we're watching some guy called George Ross on YouTube. He's only got a few that gets a few, blah, 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 a few thousand views. But he seems pretty good. A lot of the stuff he buys, we watch and we think, why have you bought that? So we're not sure, but like cameras he seems to make money on. So And Nick Hills it. makes money on on a thing. Oh here we go, batteries. It's not got a battery in. Good sign. Yeah. Not corroded. Yeah. Nice. We'll have to have a search for them. Yeah. So found it and I forgot. Oh. This was I think this was from the first stall of the day at like half six this morning. I forgot bought three games off him. You pay like a pound each as well. Something like that, yeah. That's not bad for DS games, which are decent games like Tetris DS, that was the only one I was bothered about because Tetris Goes for good money on on other consoles if it's boxed and that. So I thought on DS it might be, and I love Tetris anyway, so I thought I'm having that. I've got a DS with no games at the minute, but well, obviously I am it. now. Give it I searched it earlier, and uh, I think it'll get a 10 at least. Well, that's good. I haven't searched these because I forgot them. Touchmaster 1 and Touchmaster 3. I've never heard of them before now, but it seems like they're just like mini games. But they might be worth having a look at. Have a look at Touchmaster. So it's a nice little bu a lot of gaming bundle today. It was quite good, I'm quite happy with that. Too good. There you go. I paid a pound each, so I still made money. Yeah, but it's nice to have these things in the collection, you know what I mean? For a pound each, I might as well have them. 23 games in that, 20 games in that. 43 games for two quid I've paid. You mind me for buying all this wicker. Shed it. But he always buys these games that he's never gonna play. When we move out, I might. Yeah, but I can like take the DS on holiday, you know what I mean? And we can take them, and we've got loads of little mini games. What is it, what they do? They're just mini games. How oh, cute. Like... That's cute. <gasps> we could take yeah. it on holiday for the pool. We can. I thought they were my Game Boy, but with my old Game Boys no. and the games, they're just they're worth too much money. For, like they're not like loads of money, but they're too much for me to want to have by Paul. It's just DVDs now. Oh, it did pick up a banger though. We've been like up until about three months ago, we didn't use to buy DVDs at all, like anywhere. We didn't even watch them or collect them. But then I think because we've been thinking about moving out, we were like, might as well start having having a DVD collection. We want bloody loads, man. A lot of these were like, the guy selling these was selling them five for a pound. Matrix Collection, one, two, and three, and like special editions. Didn't even think to check if they're in there, I've just thought, which is probably true. But just, so that was good, because yesterday or the day before we were talking about the fact that we should watch the Matrix films, again, we watched the first one. So that was good. And then, if you've been watching for a while, you know that we love Marvel, and I've been trying to find uh, Iron Man 2 for ages, and we just couldn't find it. Found a geezer selling a few good ones for a pound each. He had Iron Man 2, Thor The Dark World, and Captain America The First Avenger, which is quite banging, to be fair. Didn't even think to check them either. A pound each and you didn't check? Oh, I'm gonna check these now. And then these, the majority of these were off the people that Stacey tried to scan. Didn't try to on purpose. She did. She's got Crank, Blood Diamond, some Disney ones, because we're making a big bundle, because we bought loads of Disney at a charity shop the other day, three for a pound. If we see them for 30p, we're now picking them up. Yes, these were obviously in that thing, Monsters Inc and Monsters University. I'm not okay. The Nativity one and two, because we watched those at Christmas, they were a good laugh. Oh, Brave as well, that's a good Disney one. Don't know what she's going to bought that for. No, no, because I got the first one yesterday, and I found the second one, and the, and the third one. one. And now, when I'm drawing, I've got my movies sorted. And National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, because that's one of my favourite Christmas films. Ever. It is super fair. Now, this is the bargain. I don't know. Do you think it's going to sell for good money? Sealed? Snow on the Seven Dwarfs. Sealed. VHS. When do you ever see VHS is sealed? It's true. It's true. Give me give me that bag. Oh. You, you have it. You have it, Bubs. You see what you can do. Is that the only bag we have? Or did we actually have no, another bag? No, there's a second one. Is there another bag? I can't remember yeah. anything else we bought. Got the orange one. That's sold for nearly a tenner. Yeah. I could push it then. So they're not terrible. They're decent boys for a pound each or whatever I paid. No, I've got them part of a bundle. They're nice and even better. You guys have slightly shifted ever so slightly. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, got another bag and I've forgotten 
I couldn't think of anything else. I'm bored, and I remember this is still the banger of boys. I think absolute banger of boys. Oh, and you want to know something? She hasn't let me forget that, she, that I made a boo boo boy in those bloody dolls the other day for three quid. Yeah, I bought that Barbie and that little Disney one. What did you buy today, Stace? How much did you spend? Uh, and more importantly, how much can you sell it for? Hmm? Well, can you tell? Do you tell? Tell, tell the nice people. Okay, so. I bought this. It's Liberties. I'm loving it. What? I'm loving it. The fact that you made yourself a little bit of after so letting me. She wanted a pound for it, and I, I paid a pound. So it's it's a nice fabric book. If you know what Liberties is, and it's got beautiful illustrations in it, and I was like, that's gonna be worth money because Liberties is a really expensive material shop, basically. They do really nice patterns, but it's only like four quid online, so a bit of a dud. But I'm thinking about keeping it. Anyway, so. She also had these Cast Kids and Books. She had one, two, three, four, five, six. And I got all those for a five. I thought, you know what, I can't go wrong. Even if each book's like a tenner. <gasps> Jeez. How's it going? Yeah. I thought it'd be fine. But I could still make at least £15 profit. So it's not too bad. Oh, you still think you can? Yeah, I can still make a profit. I just won't make as much profit as I wanted to. Because I thought £10 each, because they are originally like that much. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, this is like 18 99 brand new. So I thought, you know what, 10 it, easy. Nah, each one's about fiver. So I'm going to bundle them all up and I'm going to shoot for 25 It's a nice shame, You know what I mean? Is. I still made 15 so it's not much of a dodge as yours. Thank you. I made up my bed with these now. So, I found these because we decided to go at a little bit of a separate pace because Stace is looking at things that I didn't want to wait around for and I'm looking at things that Stace didn't want to wait around for. And it worked really well because I kept getting ahead and then I'd stop and look at something and then Stace would catch up and then maybe Stace would get ahead and stop and look at something. It worked well because we saw more in less time. We didn't know each other because I, guess. No. I hate waiting around while Stace is looking at clothes because she looks for because I'm like, honestly, I find stuff like this. I do appreciate about. that, but it's just, I just can't stand it because I'm looking down the aisles. I need to go look over there. Anyway, got to this stall. Big stack of Harry Potter books, all in great condition. This isn't all of them, but they had all of them, all, uh, I think the seven books. Um, they've got great condition. They don't even look red like. And I asked how much, thinking they were going to ask like 15 quid for the set. She wanted 20p a book, man. And I had to pick them up. Um, and so these these three, so we've got Deathly Hallows, Philosopher's Stone, and the Half Blood Prince. They're just these standard old school cake covers. The other four books are these crazy beautiful. I don't even know what what they are, but they're like different covers, and they're really nice. And these these are just unread. Somebody's bought these and not opened them, so they're great. Unfortunately, Jan. Go on. Search this. It's two fifty. Is it? How about the full set? Well, it's hard because it's not a set. Yeah, it's a near set. <laughs> it's a technically not a set. Yeah, but we could keep our eye out now. I said this, I said oh, I did no. not want to collect. But how much is a full set? Of Harry Potter? Yeah. I don't know. Harry Potter books in the original covers yeah. go for twenty seven ninety nine. There and thereabouts, there should be seven books in total. We've got seven books, but not Have all we? the same cover. So there's not a full set of the posh covers on Amazon, uh, on eBay. So I reckon as a mixed bundle, two different sets of covers, it's still going to sell for at least 20 quid. Okay, and even I'll then, still end up getting yeah, that thing. Yeah. 10 or 15 pound pure profit after postage and fees. From one pound 40 I paid for all There'll books. probably be six pound postage on that. Yeah, I know. Oh, sorry. I knew, I knew if they are quite heavy. It used to be four quid though, at that heavy height, height, weight. Still a nice bundle. Okay guys, I'm turning you off a bit. Um, that might be the end of the vlog as well actually, I might just end it now. Tomorrow, guys, three boot sales, so I'm charging up the GoPro, charging this camera. Yeah, just, just touch wood, touch wood. Um, the one of them is a car boot, uh, car boot. <laughs> it's not, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, but it's not supposed to rain until about the afternoon and the, and the one of the ones that we're going to doesn't start until 11 a.m. and it's indoor, so that's gonna be good. So we've got two first thing. Yeah, at least that can't be cancelled. Yeah, pretty much anyway. And then we're going to this indoor car boot. I'm excited because we haven't been to any proper indoor ones in a while. It's yeah. more like a jumble sale sort of one, but it's called a car boot, so I think. 
I'm gonna get some good stuff. I think I think jumbo sizes seem to get cheaper. Same, and you get really good stuff because that, that is literally just people who pull stuff out of their attics. So boot sales are just full of resellers these days. Yeah, and people that can't be bothered to go outside because it's too cold, so they can't be bothered to do another one. Therefore, I, I, cheap. It makes me think old people at jumbo sales doing yeah. it indoors, it's flogging it all. It's gonna be fun. <gasps> do you remember that our best pick that I remember is from a jumbo sale? It was the one in Worsley, yeah. and it was a Turnal Bow trolley. We got it for 11 quid. She wanted 15, but we gave her 11. And I flipped that in a week, mm. and we got 55 quid. I don't think that's our best buy, but I do remember that. That was From a, nice a jumble one. sale. Well, from a jumble sale, mate. But like I said, we haven't done many. The only jumble sales we do are at Christmas. There's one, which is that one, the words the one. That's a good one. It I is nice. That. It's only small, though, but we do always buy stuff from there. Lots of stuff. Anyway. I'm ending the vlog. You can like, comment, subscribe, and I believe goes. And thanks for watching this vlog. Don't forget to subscribe. We're up to 90 subs. We want to get to 100 subs before the wedding. So, like, 10 people. I know there's 10 people watching this. Now. Don't subs, hit that sub button. And come back tomorrow to watch, like, three boot tiles. It seems crazy. <laughs> and we might be going out tomorrow as well, so I'm not going to jinx it. But, yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.